Good morning, Lifehouse Church family. I'm Ed Batello, and most of you know me and my wife Marie from Sunday mornings at church. We've been actually members of Lifehouse Church from its very from the very beginning. So PL has asked me to do the music ministry portion of today's service. My son Aaron will be assisting doing the video and put today we're gonna to do something a little different. We're gonna be putting the song lyrics at the bottom of the sheet, at the bottom of the screen, uh, so that you can enter in and uh, sing along with me the praise and worship. We can praise and worship the Lord together this morning. So praise God, looking forward to it. We have, uh, I'm gonna be doing three songs. Well, it's been two months since we last met together at the church, inside the church building. We had that great Easter service, uh, service in our cars, but it's been a long time, and uh, I know I can speak for, I think, all of us that I miss a lot. <laughs> I miss you guys a lot, and um, it's, it's been a very unusual circumstances. Uh, uh, I miss a lot of things about the church. We've been getting the messages, which has been a great, great blessing. I'm, I mean, I, I miss the people, and, and we all do. I miss uh, sitting with John Carlson and just talking and chatting with him, and I miss a lot, so many of you, and I miss uh, going to the cafe and, and, and all that. But the services that we've had on Sunday mornings are a, have been a great blessing. Um, and I think we all feel that way. We kind of gather together, hear the message uh, from Pastor Lauren and Amanda and, and Pastor Mike and Jacqueline and all the music uh, team that's been contributing and every other people have been contributing. So that's been a tremendous blessing. And you know, the Lord has a way of making a way where there is no way. If something's taken away, the Lord provides. He's called Jehovah Jireh, our provider. And the Lord provides. He makes a way. And even in the most difficult times, the Lord makes a way and a provision for us. And these Sunday morning services we've been having, virtual, online, but God is still providing for us. And they've been a great, great blessing. You know, we may have been sheltering in place. We may have been in quarantine or isolation, but we've never been separated from our Lord. Amen. And, uh, you know, we have uh, kids have been taken away from school or separated from school. You know, you may have lost a job. Um, we, as a grandfather and my wife as a grandmother, we miss our grandchildren. So many of us do. We may have been separated from, from our friends and from our family, but we've never been separated or apart from the Lord. And that's his word to us, that nothing can separate us in Romans 8. Nothing can separate us from, from the love of Christ. Nothing can se separate us from the love of God. The first song I'm going to be doing today is a song, called, not a new song, but it's called The Battle Belongs to the Lord. It's taken from Second, uh, uh, Second Chronicles chapter 20. And a great and powerful army was coming in and moving against Judah and against into Jerusalem, bigger than, way bigger than their army. And um, the king... A call for a day of, of prayer and of fasting. We've done that in our country also. And I, I pick, purposely picked this song for the, for the time we're living in right now. And, and as Jehoshaphat gathered the nation together in chapter 20, 2 Chronicles, he, he said this prayer. He said, If disaster comes upon us, sword, judgment, plague, or famine, we will stand in your presence, O Lord, and cry out to you in our affliction. And you will hear and save. He was saying, we really don't know what to do, Lord, but our eyes are looking toward you. And that's really what we do when we gather here. We're not feeding the fears of this world. Or what you hear on television, we're feeding our faith that we can grow. And as our faith becomes magnified, the Lord becomes magnified in us. And a little further down, that was in verse 9. In verse 15, the Lord spoke through the prophet Jehaziel and said, Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast multitude. For the battle is not yours, but God's. So we're gonna share this first song, The Battle Belongs to the Lord. Against us will stand, the battle belongs to the Lord. We sing glory, honor, power and strength to the Lord. And we sing glory, honor, power and strength to the Lord. In the power of 
darkness comes in like a flood. Shadow belongs to the Lord. He's raised up a standard, the power of His blood.
Okay, Psalm 139. It says, Where shall I go from your spirit? Where shall I flee from your presence? Uh, if I go up to the heavens, it says you are there. If I make my bed in hell, he says you are there. If I go to the uttermost parts of the earth or to the sea, even if I go far away, it says, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. Think of that for a minute. Where shall I go? There's no way we're going to go that God is not going to be there with us. He says, even, even the darkness and the night shall be light about me. The darkness shall not hide from you. Uh, the darkness and the light are both alike to you. So, brothers and sisters, uh, Lifehouse Church, uh, we don't know where this journey is going to lead us, okay? We don't know where it's going to take us, but we do know that wherever we go, the Lord will be there. As it just said in Psalm 139, God is with us. A manual that we sang of in the first couple of songs, He is with us. God is with us. He, he is, goes before us. He is with us in, in, in the trial, and He follows after us. As I said in Psalm 89, the shelter of the Lord, you know, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of our Lord. My refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I trust. The last song I'm going to do this morning is a song we all know, I think, just about everyone knows. It's How Great Is Our God by Chris Tomlin. And I, again, with the words here, I just encourage all the Church of Lifehouse just to join in. Let's sing this together. Let's worship God together. That name above all names that who's worthy of all of our praise. The splendor of the King, clothed in majesty, when all the earth rejoices, all the earth rejoices. He wraps himself. All will see how 